Alright guys, I'm excited. I'm on a brand new permission today. Um, it's in the same village as the pasture I've been on recently though. But there's another farm down the road which I went and asked at yesterday and he's he's given given like kindly given me uh, permission to go on this one today. So as you can see in the background it's, it's lovely and flat and it should be easy going. But I did a bit of research yesterday on the area and um Apparently, just in the village down there, there used to be um, an Anglo-Saxon settlement. And the village itself is also named in the Bolden Book, which is the equivalent of like the Doomsday Book. So, you know, talking 11, 1100, something like that. Um, but as well, about a mile away, you probably heard me mention it in a couple of other videos, there's the old medieval ruin just over there so you know there's got to be stuff around here so yeah I'm excited and um, hopefully I can find something good to show you because I always find plowed lands better as well for the finds pasture's okay but I think the oldest stuff you get is usually on on the plow because you know the plow brings it back up to the surface but yeah I'll stop waffling on and um, catch hole, on the first hole permission. right there let's have a look Lead. <coughs> it looks a bit like a spindle whirl, but seems a bit too flat to be one of them, so I'm not sure. Looks pretty old though, it's a good start. Unless it's like an old lead button, but again, that seems a bit big. But lead's, lead's always a pretty decent sign if you get quite a bit of lead. Right, I've just had a signal and it's just there. This one could be interesting. Let's have a look. Oh no, I've been done. I've been done by the old teasing button. I actually thought that was a hammer then. We've all been there. Quick update. We've been on here about 40 minutes now. Um, I've come up to, it's quite a steep field really, and I've worked all my way up to the top on the hilly bit, um, which is, you know, a bit further away from the village. Um, it's been really quiet. You know, which isn't always a bad thing, but I might head back down towards the bottom end and see if it's a bit more active there. Because I know the settlement was actually meant to be where the village is, so yeah, I think I might try there now. Um, another quick thing, I'm using the G2 and I've had it, you know, just under a year now. And previously I used my T2 for maybe 10, 10, 11 years, and I still use it now. It's an awesome machine. Um, but my idea with the G2 was to buy it for the plow and keep the T2 for the pasture. But what I'm finding, I don't know if it's a northeast thing, because I used to do a lot of detecting around the West Midlands where I'm originally from. But up here, there seems to be a lot of hot rock in the fields. And this G2, it don't like coke, you know, it don't like the sniff, so um, it's a high frequency machine, so it's super sensitive to it. And up here, I'm just getting getting loads and loads and loads of it. I've tried turning the sensitivity down a bit. I don't really want to go below 90, to be honest, the maximum is 100, so I've set it to 95. I might try 90, see if that helps a bit, but it's a bit frustrating, really, so... I'm not knocking the G2, you know, I'm sure it's an awesome machine, but on these fields with hot rock, it just seems to struggle. So I might, next time I come on, I might just bring out the T2 again and see what that can do. But yeah, just a quick update. 
Well, I've just got awesome. come down to this lower bit now, more towards the village. Just had this signal here. Let's have a look. Looks quite interesting. What is that? Just give me five minutes, guys. I'm just going to give this a good clean up. That looks weird. Two minutes. Right, guys, I've just give it a clean. And this is really interesting. I've never had anything like this before. It looks like an owl or something to me. Um, I ain't got a clue on age or anything like that. But I've just, yeah, like I said, I've just give it a little clean. So that's the front and that's the beak. And on the back, there's a little, little clasp. So yeah, if anybody can shed some light on this for me, drop me a comment. But yeah, that's cool. That is, I'm really happy with that. Nice little artifact. Don't know if you can make it any better there. Just trying to get a bit of a close up for you. Yeah, that's cool. Right, literally a yard away from where I've just had that L looking brooch ring. I've just had this. Looks a bit interesting. A bit bent, but. Obviously been, been bent a bit, but. Yeah, maybe that was a bit of a. I don't know, that could have been a bit of a brooch as well. I'm gonna have to try and straighten it out a little bit without breaking it, but it's got a bit of a finished design at the top, look. I'll um, give that a clean as well and we'll see what that is. I'm going to a bit of a lead token here. Even though I think it's blank, I don't think there's much on it, but similar to that one I found earlier actually, just without the hole. I'm yeah, not sure. Looks like it could be quite old though. Might be on cool. something here. Let's have a look. Blank and broke. It's hard to tell in it. Could be an old William something, or even just a button. I don't think it's a hammered. Let me just have a quick look myself. I think it is silver though, it's got that look to it, so... Yeah, maybe... She's bent there as well, it might be a William Love token that's broke. That's cool if it is. There's a better look. Shame, shame man. That's the only, that's the downside of ploughed fields. The stuff gets damaged really, really easily. But yeah, I reckon that this silver coin, whether it's a hammered or like a William milled coin, I'm not sure. Oh well, not bad though. Field's producing some decent finds so far. I've only been on it, you know, a couple of hours. Right, I've come onto the opposite field to the one I was just on now. Um, I've just had this signal. I think it's a musket wall. Yeah. Always cool to find these, you know. They're quite old. 
and I wouldn't like to get hit by one, but you never know, somebody might have with this. Oh, I don't know, I don't know if they used to use them for hunting and that as well, I'm not sure. But no, that's cool. Little update. I'm sure I can see Durham Cathedral right over there in the distance. So obviously that, that's a good sign. Um, again, really quiet these fields. The farmer did say he has had people on them before though. Not a lot of people, but you know. Um, there's been people on, so that could be one of the reasons. Or it could just be a really quiet field. Sometimes the quiet fields are the best, so. I'm still, I've still got high hopes for them. I mean, there's a couple of fields I can't get on yet. Because the, the player is too rough, you know. But, um, yeah, not too bad. Just found a bit of pottery here. Um, I'm no expert on pottery, but, you know, it's always good to keep an eye out on the surface of the fields. See what kind of pottery comes up. I'm not sure whether this is old pottery or modern. I know you can get green glaze, which is like medieval, and that's always a good sign. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure on this one. But, yeah, just a little tip there. Always keep your eye, eyes peeled, you know. See what's around on the land. Nice signal here. Let's have a look. And it's a button. So it could have some interesting patterning on though. Not bad. Just as I was losing hope, I've had this signal here, and this could be interesting as well. Let's have a look. Nice. Bit of silver. 1891. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Try not to rub it too much. Chuff with that. It's been a long time coming on these fields, I've hardly had anything. Eighteen ninety one. Buzzing. I'll give it a bit more of a clean and we'll have a closer look. There we go. I'm not sure what it is to be honest. I'm not that good at ID coins, but it's really small. Shame it's quite worn, but yeah, I'm still happy with that. Lovely detail on the back. But yeah, I just literally I've literally moved I had a look on the old maps and I've moved where the where the path used to be. I haven't been been there long and this has popped up so hopefully we'll get a few more bits yeah i'm really happy with that never had one like that before which is cool i didn't even clock on then i'm half asleep sorry but yeah it, it's a three pence obviously with a big three there bang on in my face um but yeah it's an 1891 victoria silver three pence buzzing with that Right, I can see something sticking out there. Probably going to be the last signal of the, of the day. It's getting on a bit now and I'm knackered, so let's have a look at what we've got. It's going to be a little buckle in it. Yeah, it's a buckle. That's nice. Nice shape to it. Never had one like that before. Not sure we're on a date. But um, either way, it's a nice little find. So, yeah. Cheers. Well, that's me done for the date. Um, I'd be lying if I was to tell you that I'm not slightly disappointed with what's come up, really. Um, I thought there'd be some a lot more like older bits, you know. 
older artifacts, maybe a couple of older coins, um, just based on the history of the area. But um, so I've got high hopes for the fields. Um, you know, I've hardly touched the surface really, and the main one I want to go on is rough play, so I'm going to have to wait till that's been flattened a bit. But that one's got a path going through it, so that should be good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a look at the finds. The, the L one's quite interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on the age of that. It looks quite old, to be honest, but it's one of them that could just end up being Victorian. So I'll, I'll get that checked out and see if anyone can help me with that. Um, but yeah, I think that's me done for the day. I'm going to... Um, I've done all that walking and all that exercise today and I'm going to go home now and have my tea and um, have fish bites and chips with some curry sauce, I reckon, just to like maintain that healthy lifestyle. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad, not a bad day. Hopefully we can get some good finds off it another time. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.